coach Lopez Robinson and our best player of the game, Jason Perkins. So Jason, let's start with you. It's been a month since you last won. That was versus um, Rainer Shine in June 19. How does it feel like to win again now that you're just awaiting your last game of the elimination round versus the gym games on the 21st? Uh, it feels good, you know. It's better than losing. <laughs> I forgot what it feels like. All right, and now let's move on to Coach Lopez. Coach, we talked about how we keep on losing one ball possession in games, and the solution to that was giving that extra 1%. So for today, I don't mean extra 1% to be um, to be able to end this on a win note. I think it's really about, uh, again, uh, guys caring for each other. Uh, it's really been a while, just like what you mentioned, uh, matagal na, and it's really been uh, challenging, uh, especially uh, for me. Uh, and I know the feeling is mutual with the players. But again, it is what it is. Uh, yun nga sabi namin, uh, we, have, uh, we have a choice. It's either we're going to cry and be a victim about losing five straight games or move forward. And I guess today, uh, tonight, we lose the latter. And uh, it's a way to also... Uh, honor Matt playing his final game for us. So again, uh, good times, good times. Yeah. Thank you, Coach. Now let's go back to Jason. Jason, you mentioned you almost forgot about what it feels like to win. Get for today, what clicked within the team that enabled you to lead by as much as 35 points? Uh, we've just been singing the process. Uh, I can't. You know, our, our guards are great. Um, Matt, it's it's really easy for us to play around Matt. Um, the attention that he attracts, he just gets everybody open. And um, we're just sticking the process, moving the ball, and our coaches did a great job today. Uh, we listened to the coaches. We played together. Like Coach Topek said, we cared for each other today. And I think that was a big difference. Thank you, Jason. And then, Coach, but again, what it felt, you mentioned what was going to be Matthew Wright's last game. What happened in that? Uh, uh, he's he's gonna uh, it's gonna be his wedding day on the twenty first, so he has to leave I think tonight uh, to the U S. So again, it, it's it's a long planned uh, a big day for him. Uh, uh, we he, he's really excited about it, and again, uh, we're happy for him. Okay, last coach, na you know the losing streak made you question and look at yourself repeatedly. Parang ano ba yung kulang sa coaching abilities that pinibigay mo sa Phoenix? So with that, I just wanted to ask also, what does this kind of win do to your confidence as head coach? I would say it's it's just uh, again it's it's uh, I mean acknowledging or being aware that the guys are still you know in this game, uh, still believing in what we're trying to uh, to, to do, just like what. Uh, Perk said it, it's a process, you know, uh, as long as you're going to trust it and, and just, you know, it's, you're going to win games and you're going to lose games. But what's important is what's in front of you, and that's our game today. We're not, again, uh, on the 21st is going to be a big game, but again, this is, this is so important to us, and it, hopefully it's going to lead us to compete against Ginebra on the 21st. All right, Coach, and then now we're going to be just reading a few questions also from the media that's joining us. So, sabi ni Ivan Saldaheno from Tagao Cut he says, Coach Topex, what was the defensive game plan in the first half? You helped convert to the lowest first half output in eight years. I guess what, what again, uh, everybody was, was on the same page. Uh, we did what we prepared for. Guys were catching up, uh, being active. Uh, and then uh, Coach Jamaik did a great job preparing us uh, defensively on reading the the offense that uh, Converge will play. So it was really a, a good, uh, you know, a good call by, by Coach Jamaica to do that for us. And then the players agreed to that. And we just st stick to the plan. And again, uh, we won the 50-50, I guess, on both ends. That, that really uh, helped us uh, to kickstart the first half for us. Again, uh, Matt's uh, absence will be somebody else's uh, presence. So again, we have Perk here. Uh, he's one of our veterans now. And again, uh, just just a few guys get. I mean, that's that's gonna be a big shoot to fill. But again, that's just an opportunity for for uh, RJ, for RR, for Encho, for Tyler, and the rest of the guys. So again, that's gonna be exciting times for us.
Όπου και τη δαχμή που είναι το πεφτάκι του Fox του Extended. As of now, again, uh, he's, he honored this contract. Uh, he's going to expire in the, on August, and, and he, he was open to us about it. Uh, last year, Panya Sinabi sa amin that you know, he's going to look at his opportunities. And again, we're just happy for him. You know, uh, whatever it is that he's going to do after this is, is something that we've agreed upon. The management has his full support on, on Matt. And if ever he returns, again, that's an added bonus for us. Uh, you know, I, I love Matt. I love playing with Matt. Um, but uh, like Coach Topek said, it's, uh, we have the next man up mentality. Let's say give someone else another opportunity. Uh, we got a lot of good young guys, um, Encho, Tyler, Aljun, and um, hopefully they can step up for us, which I'm assuming they will. So, yeah, next man up. What's your advice for a wider time Again, we, 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 we only focus on uh, what we have control of. Uh, we're going to play our hearts out against uh, a champion team like Ginebra. So whatever the, the, the results there, we're just going to keep moving forward. So again, it's always going to be exciting when you play Ginebra, and that's what we're excited about and we're looking forward to. Much coach Tobex Robinson and our best player of the game, Jason Perkins. Congratulations once again for this win. Thank you, thank you.